Hello everybody, my name is Getty Joe 22 and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. Last time we traveled through Victory Road in order to make it to the Indigo Plateau, fighting many difficult trainers and catching a handful of new Pokemon in the process. And this time, we find ourselves at the gate of Indigo Plateau. We have nothing else to do but take on the Pokemon League, so let's get right to it! So we see that there is already a really big room for us to be in. Hello, guy. Yo, champ of the making! At the Pokemon League, you will face the Elite Four all in a row. If you lose, you have to start all over again. This is it! Go for it! Thank you very much, my guy. I always appreciate you. We're gonna go ahead and talk to Nurse Joy, get a Pokemon healed up and all nicely. And we're gonna go up here, and we wanna talk to this person here. So, this guy is the ultimate Pokemon. As you can see here, he's got some really nice stuff, including Ultra Balls, Great Balls, Full Resource, Max Potion, Revives, Full Heals. It's got everything that you would want. I definitely recommend that you get a handful of uh, these items because it's really important to have plenty of Full Resource and Revives on hand at all times. Also wouldn't help to have some Full Heals, so I'm gonna grab a handful of those. Just in case I need to uh, get myself a further healed, but not restore my HP. Now, let's talk to her. From here on, you face the Elite Four one by one. If you win, a door opens to the next trainer. Good luck. Now, before we take on the Elite Four, I have something that I need to come clean about, and I would like to show my team real quick. As you can see, my team is significantly higher level than it was in the previous episode. And that is because, in between recordings, I had taken the time to grind my team up to level 55. I actually did attempt to fight the Elite Four earlier with the original levels that you saw at the end of the last episode, and that did not go very well. I barely was able to get past the first one, and I got destroyed by the second one. So it was made abundantly clear that my Pokemon were too underleveled to do the job. And while my Pokemon are significantly higher leveled and they will hopefully do a better job against the first two, I still do not consider my team to be overleveled with respect to what we had to accomplish here. So if you think I'm overleveled, that's your opinion, but I know for a fact that there are still plenty of Pokemon that we gotta fight that are higher level than what I'm working with. So I think level 55 is a relatively fair compromise. And again, I'm sorry I had to do a lot of grinding, but hey, at least you didn't have to watch me do all that. Anyway, with our team now hopefully properly prepared, let's take on the Elite Four. It's time, guys. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Lorelei, the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. Ha <laughs> ha! Are you ready? All right, guys, let's do this! Elite Four Lorelei would like to battle. She's gonna be starting off with Dugong, level 52, thick fat for the ability. So don't bother using fire or ice moves against it. With the moves Surf, Ice Beam, Hail, and Safeguard. The biggest thing that you need to watch out for with this Dugong is it's setting up Hail. That could be a nasty little bit of extra damage to all your Pokemon that aren't Ice types. Additionally, Safeguard can be a problem if you like inflicting status conditions on your opponent, which I for one do. But in any case, we're gonna use Thunderbolt and hopefully this should take out Dugong easily. I do remember my first attempt, it was able to do it while Rotoshi was underleveled, and I'm wrong. Maybe I got lucky with a critical hit or something last time. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What the first? Okay, uh, this is a new stats condition. I, I I am not having good luck right at the start here. This is frozen status. Most ice moves have the chance of inflicting the freeze status, although unlike most stats conditions, there is no move that explicitly just inflicts the freeze status. At least I'm pretty sure one does not exist until maybe Gen 9. But in any case, the freeze status. Oh my God, of course she's using full restore. When you're frozen, you basically are not able to attack at all. You basically just have a chance of thawing yourself out, which can be increased if you're using a fire type move and is guaranteed if you're using the move Sacred Fire. But in the case of Ratoshi, I just went ahead and used a full heal because I just wanted to get rid of the frozen status right away. And of course, 
she used hail right away. So now all non-ice Pokemon will take a little bit of chip damage at the end of every turn, but it's not too bad. All right, that takes care of Dugong. Next up, she's gonna be sending out Cloyster. I'll keep Raitoshi in for this one as well. Cloyster, level 51, shell armor for the, for the ability, and Hale is still a pelting down. With the move Spikes, Dive, Hail, and Protect. Again, she likes to set up Hail as often as she can. Spikes can also be a problem if she gets that off because that inflicts an additional hazard that inflicts damage to my Pokemon whenever I switch one out. It's especially an issue if she sets up Spikes multiple times. She also has Dive, which is essentially a water-type version of Fly. And in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, this is actually considered an HM move, but here it's just kind of a move that some specific Pokemon can learn. Fortunately, Cloyster is not the best when it comes to its special offense, so Raitoshi had no issue taking it out. Looks like she's gonna bring it in Slowbro next. I'll go ahead and uh, keep Raitoshi in for the time being. Hale, once again, is continuing to pelt us, but fortunately for us, not only is Raitoshi uh, susceptible to Hale, but so is Slowbro, because it is not considered an ice type. Anyway, Slowbro level 52, oblivious for the ability. The move Surf, Ice Beam, Yawn, and Amnesia. As we've seen many times, Yawn can be an annoying thing, but also keep in mind that Amnesia can boost its special defense by two stages, so that can be a big problem. Fortunately, Raitoshi seems to be taking care of the house very nicely, so hopefully we won't have too many more issues. Now then, her next Pokemon. Lapras, this is her strongest Pokemon in terms of sheer power and its level. Level 54. Water Absorb for the ability, holding a Citrus Berry, which will restore a quarter of its HP when it gets too low. With the move Surf, Confuse Ray, Ice Beam, and Body Slam. This thing is a beast. It can hit very hard, and if it is able to get out that Confuse Ray, which is not hard to pull off, it will create a lot more problems for me. Really, you went for Surf and not Confuse Ray. Last time that I attempted this, she spammed Confuse Ray. It was not even funny. All right, I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt. Hopefully, because I didn't inflict that much damage with Thunderbolt this first time, she uh, should be able to just go out. Very nice. And her last Pokemon, Jinx, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out to Searcher to save your precious ears. Jinx is easily her second most powerful Pokemon. Level 54 as well. Oblivious for the abilities. I mean, she cannot be infatuated. With the moves Lovely Kiss, Ice Punch, Double Slap, and Attract. So she is gonna try to attract one of my Pokemon, but the other Pokemon, the other move that we need to worry about is Lovely Kiss, which has a chance of causing me to fall asleep. So Attract plus Sleep equals bad time, especially since Attractiveness cannot be removed with full restores or full heals. Now, the one thing I do want to point out is that in between episodes, Searcher got a new move, Extreme Speed at level 49. This is basically just a stronger, faster version of Quick Attack with less power points, but better base power that has an additional level of priority and- Oh, come on! Oh my god, lovely kiss miss. Okay, she's definitely gonna use Full Restore here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go all in with Flamethrower again, and hopefully I get a higher damage roll on this attack. Or just get a critical hit. I believe in you, Searcher. There we go! It was just a low damage roll. Let's go! Things shouldn't be this way. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of the Pokemon League's power. I struggled so much with her jinx in the first attempt. I am glad that this went well. I'm so glad it's going better, guys. You have no idea. And you never will see the original footage. It's destroyed. Anyway, let's move on. Ooh, and we have new music to accompany our venture into the Elite Four. Before we do anything, I do want to heal real quick. All right, let's do this, big guy. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. 
Through rigorous training, people and Pokémon can become stronger without limit. I've lived and trained with my fighting Pokémon, and that will never change. Griffin, we will grind you down with our superior power. Hoo-ha! All right, let's do this, Bruno! Elite Four Bruno would like to battle. He's going to be starting off with Onyx, level 51. Rockhead for the ability with the moves Earthquake, Iron Tail, Rock Tomb, and Roar. His team's a little weird because on paper it is meant to be a fighting type team, but nearly half his team consists of Onyx, and the three fighting type Pokemon he has all have some way of dealing with flying types in one way or another. So it's really bizarre. I guess it's just meant to be a tough team rather than a fighting team, but in any case, Onyx are no match for Gullywash, no matter how over or under leveled he may be. It's gonna be switching on out to Hitmonchan next. Hmm. Uh, that's a good question. Do I wanna do this? Last time I switched to Ragna, it did not go well. Now I'll risk it. I will risk it for the proverbial biscuit made of chocolate that I cannot consume. Even though that is a significant problem. <laughs> also, I guess I should talk about uh, Hitmonchan for a brief moment. Hitmonchan, level 53, keen eye for the ability, so accuracy cannot be lowered. With Sky Uppercut, Rock Tomb, evidently, Mock Punch, and Counter. He's able to get off that counter. That could be a big problem for Ragna, but hopefully this finishes it off. Very good. Hitmonchan is down. His next Pokemon that he's sending out is Machamp, and I am not going to complain about that. Machamp, level 56. So we're already seeing Pokemon higher level than myself. Guts for the ability, with the most scary face, Rock Tomb, Bulk Up, and Cross Chop. If he's able to get up that Bulk Up and Cross Chop, he can do immense amounts of damage. So I'm hoping that this Aerial Ace boosted with Sword Stance will finish it off. And as always, Ragna comes through. Oh, I'm so glad that he's sending out the Fine Types. You have another Onyx, right? Like, I'm not crazy, he has another Onyx, but he's setting up the fighting types next. Whatever. Hitmonlee, level 53, Limber for the ability, with his Mega Kick, Foresight, Brick Break, and Facade. I don't know why he doesn't have a move other than Foresight. Foresight can be good for dealing with ghost types, but you think he would have something to deal with flying types instead, like all the other Pokemon, but whatever. And his last Pokemon is Onyx, so I'm gonna switch back to Gullywash. See, I told you, the majority of his team is just rock types for some reason, or at least 40% of it is. In any case, this Onyx is level 54, Rockhead for the ability, with the moves Earthquake, Double Edge, Iron Tail, and Sand Tomb. So even though it is essentially the same Pokemon, it does have a slightly different move set, but it still accomplishes the same thing. Jack Nil. And Seer Trigger to level 56. Beautiful. Why? How could I lose? My job is done. Go face your next challenge. Aw, oh, he turned away. And he still turns away every time. All right, well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end things here. I don't want the Elite Four episodes to be too crowded, and I think two is more than enough for one video. So next time on Pokemon Fire Red, we'll take on the remaining two of the Elite Four. See you guys then.